Hello YouTube, Rocky 3 here, back with another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the SH Monster Arts Fire Rodan from Tamahashi Nations and Bandai. Yeah, I just got this figure in the mail today, uh, the day I'm filming this, probably not the day I'm uploading it. But, uh, it is nice. So, uh, uh, I got it a day early, which is great, and also, it came with another package, and I was like, what package is this? Open it up. It's a national award. So, I get a national freaking award, and my freaking monster art comes a day early. So... I'm considering myself pretty lucky right now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. thought I'd show you the box. I like to show the boxes of my Japanese figures. It's got a picture of Fire Rodan on the front. And then his name, of course. And Bandai Tamahashi logos. Still 2012. Fire Rodan. Legal stuff. And then uh, the Monster Art description. Oh, so cool. And there's Fire Rodan in the box. Oh, that's pretty. Warning. This is Fire Rodan across the side. Friggin' gold. Then up top, little Fire Rodan. Fire Rodan, Monster Arts. Ooh, that's nice. And then the other side. You got his neck. <laughs> and then him right there. Fire Rodan. So cool. And on the back, you see, we show some of his accessories. There he is flying on the ground with uh, the Mechagodzilla head. You can swap out with your Mechagodzilla. New beam for Godzilla. Flight stand, beam stand. And there he is. Oh, what a titanic pterosaur. That didn't make any sense, did it? No, it didn't. But, uh, movie poster, Japanese stuff, fire it in. More Japanese stuff. But yeah, he's pretty excellent just looking at the box. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited that this came a day early. I'm just giggly now. But, uh, yeah, let's get this broski out of that packaging. So here is the SH Figure Arts Fire Rodan out of packaging. Now this, this guy's cool. He's a fancy little dude. He's, he's so cute and fancy. I mean, uh, it's just, wow, super poseable, so much articulation. Let's bring him up closer, let some focus in happen. Oh, you see that? Now let's take a look at detail and paint first. Uh, I gotta say, detail on this guy, no complaints. He is super well detailed. You can see his head has all the wrinkles and everything looks just like Fire Rodan from the movie. Inside of the mouth. Oh, he is nice. He is nice. Then his, uh, his chest. Look at all that with that paint detail. Mmm! That is sweet. The legs, the sculpting right here especially. Very nice. You got the inside of the wings. It's just leathery. You can even, even see veins. I don't know if you guys can see them because they're very light, but they painted veins in the wings. You see them? I can kind of see them on camera. Make it full screen. See those veins? That is tight that they added veins into the figure. That is just straight up tight. Little hands. Little, little, little pterosaur hands. Yeah, like a yodi. And his spines on his back. They're absolutely magnificent. They're just so pointy. And his tail. <laughs> a little tail. Bottom of his feet even have detail. And the back of the wings. Really nice. You can see all the uh, kind of highlights you got there. But yeah, really great detail. Now, how about some articulation the uh, jaws you already saw, he's up and down, and he has several joints in the neck, right up here. It's really fancy, you see he's got one right there, it moves all around, it's really nice, and then 
the neck moves here, right at the bottom, here, and you can rotate all over the place. Really nice. No ab crunch or anything, but not needed for this figure at all. You got joints here and here. You see how smoothly they move. You got wings, joint. Even the little hands are articulated up and down. Even rotate. That's really cool. Legs, great articulation up there. And the knees, really nice. You see his little feeties. There he goes. And the tail is segmented. It moves all around. Rotate or whatever. Just that. Uh, you can get him in lots of crazy poses. Which is really, really, really just fantastic. Alright, here is his first accessory. It's uh, just like your basic stand. And there are three different uh, bases for his stand. Where did I put them? Oh, here they are. Yeah, three different bases. As you can see, this one is clear and just glittery. And you stick this little peg thing in it. I'll show you what that's for in a sec. And then there are two more. One that says Fire Rodan on it and has a picture. You see that? Yeah, pretty cool, right? Yeah. And then one that says Tyranitan Forever Kazuma Aoki. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Okai. Kazuma Okai. Yeah, you're, if you saw the movie, then then you're smiling. But yeah, so that's pretty cool that it comes with three bases you can choose from to display him on. Now, speaking of displaying, now I'm going to show you what this, this little stalk here is for. You stick him on it by sticking it between his tail and his legs. So it like cups the tail and his crotch. And he just... So it's right on it like that. Pretty fancy. Uh, another accessory. And I hate to say that I don't have the Mecha Godzilla, but I don't have the Mecha Godzilla. So I can't show you this on the figure. And I know it's kind of sad because it was like out of the first two monster arts to come out, but it comes with an interchangeable head for Mecha Godzilla. And uh, I'm going to move Rodan out of the way so it'll focus better on the head. But as you can see, the head has a black eye that's been pecked out and has a little hole in it. Just remember that scene in the movie where Fire Rodan pecks out Mechagodzilla's eye? Well, this way you can recreate the scene, have him on the stand, pecking out the eye. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, and of course it's articulated and very well detailed and everything. It's really just a fantastic looking head. Fire Rodan also comes with three little uh these, three of these, one for each stand and etc. But uh yeah, you can also plug this cup like part into it. Here I'll show you a picture of it on the uh instructions. See that thing right there? And it just, he just sits on top of it. No big deal. Really, really cool. And here, you can see Rodin with his, uh, blast. Fire Rodin's blast. Pretty cool. It just plugs in right there. No big deal. Really, really nice. I mean, it looks good. It is an excellent looking blast. I can bring it up for a closer look if you'd like. Very, very well detailed and everything. Nice paint, these silver highlights in it. Translucence, really nice. And here, folks, the last accessory, another accessory for a different figure, is a blast for your SH Monster Arts Godzilla. That is right. It's a big blast like the one Godzilla fires in the end of the movie when fire... Well, that's a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, he gets power from Fire Rodan and is able to fire blast like this so really it gives you literally everything you need to recreate the final battle from Godzilla versus Mechagodzilla 2 literally everything and it also looks great with your comic-con exclusive Godzilla which is who I have this it displayed with here because lots of people were complaining that he didn't come with accessories so I was like I'll display this with my comic-con Godzilla so that everyone can uh, see it with the comic-con Godzilla 
Also, you can uh, use it for your Burning Godzilla, because Burning Godzilla recently came out when I'm filming this. It was like a few weeks ago, I think. But uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't pick him up yet. I will. He's pretty pricey, so. But I'll get him. I'll get him. And it goes fine with him too. Uh, there's also like a regular red atomic blast. I think you can get in an effects set for Godzilla. Yeah, pretty sure. But hey, it works great with your all three of the Godzillas we have so far. And it's uh, really nice. It's really nice. I'll bring it in for some uh, detail. You can see uh, the blast here. Lots of fades of reds, orange, yellow, all different colors. And it's up here, it's painted, but it slowly becomes more and more translucent and then less translucent as you get to the big, thick blast. It's got like these jolts of plasma energy just going all around it. It's really nice, the texture and everything. If it's right in his mouth, it's a little tab for his tongue and stuff. I mean, this is nice. This is nice, you guys. What do you guys think about size comparisons now? Here is our SH Monster Arts Fire and compared with some other super articulated, you know, monstery type figures. Here he is with our figure arts Comic Con exclusive Godzilla. We already talked about him. And uh just want to say that Fire Rodan was probably the smallest Rodan we've ever seen. Now, I haven't watched the movie in a while, but I think this is okay. I can't quite remember. It's it's kind of hard to remember. It's just... Eh. I haven't, I haven't seen the movie in a while. So... Just... Whatever. But I actually think it looks fine. I mean, seeing Rodan as a small monster is no big deal. I think it looks pretty cool. And then, here he is with my... Ultra Act Ultraman Max, who decided he wanted to be a jerk today and not stand. He never has problems with it. I, just, I don't know why today I was like, get it to stand, get it to stand. Didn't want to stand. He kept tipping over. So I just propped him up with <laughs> one of Fly Rodan's stands. But uh, I guess that's fine too. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. Here's our Fly Rodan with some cheaper vinyls. <laughs> Here he is with uh, the Bandai Creations Destroyer. Now, uh, even compared to Godzilla, Destroyer was pretty massive, and that was only a few films later. So, uh, Fire Rodan and Destroyer, this might actually be accurate. I'm pretty sure Destroyer would just, like, completely destroy Fire Rodan. So, this, I think, is fine. I mean, I don't care. <laughs> and then, uh, here he is with Gamera, another... Monster, well actually the first monster from the uh, from another series, since Ultraman's technically not a monster. But uh, yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty fine also I guess. Another flying character, haha, <laughs> cause he spins. But yeah, I, I think it's just fine. I mean, if you guys do have any complaints and you prefer Rodan to be bigger, like the same size as your figures, you can just put them with Trend Masters if you want. I mean, that makes him look a lot bigger. But my Rodan, keep in mind, I have this Rodan in a crouching pose. And we really never see this Rodan on the ground with uh, any of the monsters. So, hey, you know, just whatever. So what are my final thoughts on the SH Monster Arts Fire Rodan? Well, I gotta say, out of all the Tamihasha Nation Bandai figures that I've gotten, not a single one has disappointed me. I love these figures. Tamihasha Nations is great when it comes to detail and articulation, and then Bandai with, you know, licensing and everything. Also, Bandai makes great toys as well. So, don't, don't take me wrong. <laughs> But, I mean, this Rodan's great. He's super articulated, great detail, great paint. Sizing, it's okay. Really just a preference kind of thing, I suppose. But uh, he comes with a butt-ton of accessories. For real, man. I mean, you got the Blast for Godzilla. Three 
stands, three bases. You got his blast, Mechagodzilla's head, all kinds of crazy stuff and different things to put on the ends. It's just, it's insane. It is insane. I really, just really dig this guy. And uh, I highly recommend picking him up. Any kaiju fan don't want one. He's really, really, really cool. I just, I really dig him. I really, really dig him. I mean, I wouldn't get him for, like, a kid. Maybe I don't think they'd be ready for this yet. I mean, it's probably really fragile. I know that lots of people have told me that their tails have broken. Um, my tail seems to be holding up just fine. I don't, I don't see the big deal. But then again, I've only had this for a day, so... Who knows? But yeah, he, uh, he's really nice. He's also pointy and has small choking parts. Keep that in mind. But for a final rating, I'm gonna give this Monster Arts Fire Rodan four out of five stars. I know you guys are thinking, what four out of five? But it's a Monster Art. Yeah, I've seen those kids who review Monster Arts and just give them all 5 out of 5 no matter what. Yeah, not doing that. Uh, I do feel that maybe it could stand a little better on its own because it doesn't really... Like when you have its wings touching the ground, I know that's how pterosaurs would sit, but still. I just feel... I feel like a little something more for that. And, uh... Also, maybe a little bigger. I mean, I know I said I thought it was fine, but still, it's kind of kind of small. It's like Trin Master's size. I mean, it's not. It's only a, a little bigger than my Trin Master's Rodan. And by bigger, I mean wingspan. They're about the same height. So, you got to think about that. But uh, yeah, overall, really good figure. Uh, just minor things very minor but i personally think it's really great so yeah four out of five check out all the links in the description below link to my second channel lots of fun stuff there that's where all my action figure collection updates are so uh if you want to see a collection update that's where you need to go also uh we got lots of other cool links links to our facebook page like our facebook page get updates on facebook and our twitter on Twitter, we will follow you back. We will follow you back on Twitter. So if you follow us on Twitter, we will follow you. Might We might not do it instantly because I don't tweet from my phone. And I'm the only one running Twitter. <laughs> so you guys uh, just thought to get on my laptop at some point. But yeah, lots of cool other links down there too. Just, Just check it all out, man. Just check it out. Action figure collecting page that I really like. You can go like it. It's pretty cool. All, all kinds of cool stuff. So just, uh, yeah, check out those links. Check out uh, our last few videos. Got some great reviews and other original stuff. It's really, really nice. And our parody show, Godzilla and Guy Again. I'm, I'm just advertising myself like a mofo. I'm going to go. <laughs> all right. This is uh, 4 out of 5 for the Rodan. And Baraki 3, rate, comment, subscribe. <clears throat> and signing out.